out there in YouTube land, I'm here to do a review on the LED strip lights. 5 meter LED strip light with 600 LEDs. Uh, as you can see, I've already used a lot of it. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a keyboard light with these LED light strips. Okay, here it is, my uh, keyboard. I'll show you another shot later on when it's darker, but just so you can see what's happening here. Um, I put a LED light strip right under there, right under the uh, the bottom of the desk, and then wired a switch, which is right here, and a potentiometer that adjusts the uh, brightness. All right, here I'm going to turn on this switch, if you can see it back there, and it lights up the LED light strip. And right here, if you can see it, it's kind of hard. Uh, there's a potentiometer which adjusts the light. As you can see, it's dimming and getting brighter as I turn it. Okay. Okay, you can either go to uh, Radio Shack or any of your uh, electronic stores to find a switch and a potentiometer. But uh, I have right here a old uh, remote control for a uh, helicopter. And as you see, I already uh, took out this side, but what's on that side is a switch and a potentiometer right here. So all you have to do is just take the controller apart and you see right here is the switch and your potentiometer and they're just connected right here with wire clip straight to the board just pull those out there you go okay okay here's the front and all you have to just do is remove the little sleeve right here with a I used a vice grip to get them off just remove that and you can just push it through all right out there you go, you got your little switch right here, potentiometer you gotta pull this off and again there's another nut underneath just push it through okay, there you go, that's all you need for a switch and uh, to adjust the brightness of your LED light strips. If you have a remote control to any RC that you uh, don't use anymore, you can make it useful. Okay, here's a quick uh, wiring diagram, I guess. I just do this up just right now in about a minute. But uh, anyway, uh, I have my LED light strip that's right underneath my desk. And it has its positive and uh, negative wires. Uh, the negative wire I ran straight to the, the battery negative. And the positive I ran to the switch. And then from the switch I went to the, the dimmer potentiometer. And then for the potentiometer I went to the battery. And I hooked this all up and it all works. Uh, this is the first time that I'm doing any kind of a... Uh, any wiring diagram or trying to work with electricity but uh, I just looked a couple looked at a couple videos online and uh, kinda led me in the right direction but uh, if anybody that's a little more uh, experienced and can tell me why or if I'm doing anything wrong or whatever just uh, send me a comment and let me know but uh, I just have a that's the battery back there it's a 10 volt battery from a also from my helicopter that I'm not using. So there you go. Alright. Alright, I'll give you a quick close-up on these LED light strip. Uh, I just wired that up and I put a clear uh, shrink wrap over it. There you go. Every three LEDs there's a, there's a cut mark where you can separate the LEDs in a positive and negative and that's where you attach your wires. So, uh, there you go. And as you can see, it has like a little clear film over it. 
This is the, the waterproof LEDs. Okay, it's uh, not quite dark yet, it's still bright outside. Um, I'm just going to show you this. This. I'm just going to show you the LED light strip when it's dark. Uh, my switch is right here. As you can see, pull it out. There you go. Just have this towel over here to make it a little bit dark. Okay. See, it works pretty good. It's a lot, lot better than not having it. Uh, it's my potentiometer right here. It's max bright. It's uh actually at night time you can't even have it that bright, it'll hurt your eyes looking at it. So most of the time I'll just keep it at about right here is about comfortable to look at while you're typing and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment and subscribe. Make sure to tune into the next video where I show you what I did with the rest of these LED lights. Um, they're sitting over here. I got them all cut up and put wires on the end and they're going to be going inside my car. So stay tuned and uh, check the next video out.